All right, all my students love to make fun of me, and I know, and I can see it on my eyes. But remember, when we're dealing with our imaginary numbers, our eyes have that nice little tail with it. Sometimes I get a little crazy, and yeah, I know it looks like a U, so I'll go ahead and knock that down a little bit. So, all right, now what I'm going to do is just work on combining our complex numbers. And I've showed you the vertical method. I've showed you applying by distributive property. So we can also uh, just kind of use the distributive property in our head and just combine our real and our rational. So one, a lot of times what I'll say is just, you know, say this out loud is another way you can get it. Once you get a little practice with this, we can just go from here. So I know that I can only combine my real with my real component. So what this says is 8 minus a negative 11. Well, minus a negative 11, that's a double negative, so that's going to turn to positive. So that will leave me with a 19. Then I have negative 5i minus positive 4i. Well, minus four, negative 5i minus 4i is going to leave us with a negative 9i. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you combine your complex number. I just I could rewrite those like that. So you can only combine the reals with the imaginary, and then you combine. Thanks.